Instead of the National Anthem, there was another competition. You might all remember it, called the Sweepstakes. And a ticket of a sword here in the Kramer became a winner later on. Oh, look, I know. You walk to sit down. 
But it wasn't just for the men. The local women used to come and do their daily shopping in Langsworth and have a good chat and a good chin wag about the men in the pub the night before and many of the good arguments they would have between themselves here in the village of a day. Is it true, Mrs. Sister? Sister is there? Oh, it's his awful friend. He hasn't seen her for years. I didn't know whether to believe her or not. I heard it from the crowd down at the board, which are, they don't tell a word of the truth. Well, only for the cream. Are you sure we wouldn't hear things? Well, only for the cream. You're going to get my nickel off of me. Can you hear us now? Quick, to come home! Another very important part of the creamery was the shop that was inside here. A lot of well-known people walked down here through the years, but it was never called a shop. Everyone around here called it the store. And you could buy everything, everything that you could be taught of, inside or outside of the house, all under one roof in here in the store. So we have a couple of young customers today coming shopping. Well, that's the best I've ever seen. 
Times were changing, even for the bull in the field. By now, Mitchestown had a lot of service. AI, better known around here as the bullmen. There were several different ways of notifying me. There was a slip of paper here on the box here. A plastic bag opened the beer. Or you could wait in the road and you could stop him. Everyone knew him and he was great friends with everyone around. But come the 1st of June, one thing on everyone's mind was the cutting of the silage. Yeah. Tom Gallagher and Nick Cunningham was being great demand this time. And today we're going to when I have a saw and things up through the, I said the boys were a bit confused Lord the Yeah. We'd like to thank Kieran Nodunahu, that's who he was the trailer and the, the single shot side of the car. So a lot of fellas around here will feel I don't know, happy or sad to see it. There was a lot of good fun days and happy days around them, but there was a lot of half days lifting and pulling and dragging with the impacted three houses. John Roach and Kim Mallet owns the restore major at the front, and uh, you have to agree that it's a fantastic little factor. Well, I remember Ned Cunningham, Lord and Master in Ned. He was a well-known man around here for cutting hair. I think he was a customer. The only one around here was a customer at one time. When there was no side of the Lord on the air. And here was the main, was the main thing for feeding cows. Tommy was a side we were with Tom Dullery. He was, he was the main man around here for cutting hair at the time. I think he had a cut hair for everyone. But Tommy, Ned used to always joke. Feels that he caught his five acres for all the six when they came up for rain. You did not trouble this time. I just there, uh, my hand said to you a while ago, but at the end of the at the end of the sketch here, like, there's going to be a parade out with the meat tank and all the meat suppliers out of the air. And just for something that we'll always have to remember on time to come, like the video we had in 1981, I'd like if everyone followed the parade at the end, up the ball road, and back into the field again. Just so we can map the occasion today. <laughs> but there was one thing for sure, lads. The Creamery was the local folk I find it very important to everyone. Friendships were made, great stories were shared inside the gates and walls. But that was all about change. Supplies to be 
where it is not possible, for whatever reason, to install a static tank for on-farm collection. A suitable refrigerated portable tank will be supplied to you on favourable terms, whereby you will be able to bring your milk for collection at the premium we have. This change will be implemented on the 1st of September 1981. We wish to assure suppliers and customers that there will be no change as regards the store's outfit, which will continue to operate at the airport. Our advisor will continue to live on a continuous basis with all new suppliers affected by this change to ensure smooth transition. We would like to ask for your cooperation in this matter. If you have any query, please do not hesitate to contact the other side. Thank you for manager of Mr. Tom Greenwich. There were different reactions to the news about Angus Borough branch of Mitchell Creamery. I was about to close. Some were very happy to be moving with the Times, while others were concerned that they were going to be forced out of meat production. People just wanted clarification and answers to their questions. At the time, the two local committee men were Tom Gulliver and Charlie Hanley, and it was them that faced the questions. So, I need to. They did their best to persuade the people that it was all for the best. I meet Northern Suppliers and Mitch Town Creamery. So, they held a meeting here in the hall, and some very well known people from Mitch Town Creamery were, 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 were brought out here. So, I'll hand it over there now, Catch is going to take over the meeting. We'd like to welcome you all to the meeting of the Anglican Suppliers. Uh, as you know, we're about to discuss, we discuss all your problems there, and uh, we have thank you for being here. We're very honoured to have him in the house. He'll answer all your questions. Oh, anybody, any questions there? I'm sure we'll address all your concerns. Going to come. Who's going to take care of it? Yes. Good question. Oh, thank you, dear. I must have your questions. Uh, and I'm sure Frank will do his best there, Frank. Keep your bangs for us. The days are going to start being heard. Let's all fight for a better price 
for the minute. Ten years ago in this branch, we had 157 minutes of fire. That is the report, the train here is just cut before. I think the progress of this closure is inevitable. And we can help you all to develop your family out and your future and family. So I urge you all to vote for this proposal today. Thank you very much, Frank. And I'm sure now that he has addressed all your concerns there uh, with that. So we'll proceed now, and Eddie and myself here will conduct the vote here. Uh, all in favour of closing the creamery? Hold them down. I close against. I declare the motion to be carried. The Premier will close on the 41st of August 1981. So it was decided. The Premier will close. The late Nick O'Connor from the Gallic Bear had arranged for the close to be filmed, which is probably one of the things that brought us all here today, lads, because we were able to look back and see what was there in 1981. It was a Sunday morning and the people were making their way to mass and the village was a hive of activity. Billy Freyhouse staff at the creamery for the last time. Once again, the children sang on the trailers as the local farmers arrived, arrived at their chums. A scene of sadness filled the air because old habits died out and most of these men had been coming here since they were 15 or 16. But everyone knew time, the time had come and it was for the best. And the people watched as the last truck left and the last load of milk went to Mitchison Creamery and the creamery stopped for the last time on the 21st of August 1981. <laughs>